go to Sunita. Sunita, tell us more about yourself and uh, who is Sunita? What does she like? What she does not like? Who, is, who she eats with? Who she sits with? What kind of music you listen to? Right now, eating and sitting only with family, right? We can't afford <laughs> to do anything else. <laughs> better, better be that way to be safe right now, right? Um, so, uh, you know, Bangalorean, uh, you know, I think uh, in my generation, everybody pretty much actually got into engineering, right? So that's where my computer science thing also started. But um, I said that I, I think I had um, an intention to get into finance because of the domain in which I worked in in computer science as well. And that's when I moved on to do my uh, B school. And in the last 10 years, I've been in the VC space as well, right? Apart from other, uh, you know, initial stints, which I had done. And the uh, first few years in Avish Club, which is an impact investment VC, and in the last six and a half odd years with Let's Venture. And uh, Let's Venture basically is an online platform for startups to raise funds. We today have three different verticals. I had the early stage vertical, which is where Startups end up raising anywhere between 100k to a million million and a half dollars from HNIs and micro funds. We have a SaaS product called ESOP, uh, My Startup Equity for ESOP and cap table digitization and management, and uh, another vertical called LV Plus for growth and late stage investments. Right, so kind of trying to be there across the spectrum from a C to IPO uh, for a for a startup. Right, so just being there at different stages uh, of a startup's life. Okay, excellent. So. What stage of startup do you like personally? Since you are currently focusing on the early stage uh, portfolios. Yeah. Actually, that is the most exciting, right? Because I think that's where there are turning points of how startups actually grow into uh, different stages. You actually look at companies which have just created their MVPs, companies which are just trying out monetization models, which means they're there through to see what are the different ways in which the companies actually either make mistakes or are able to actually become bigger uh, through different kind of processes. And I think at the early stage, the key part is also in terms of founder, right? Or what happens over the course of time is you're looking at the processes and the product and the revenue which the company has made, uh, lesser on the founder. But I think in the early stages, it's a lot more about uh, founder instincts which you actually follow through to be able to make investments so definitely way more exciting than growth and late stage investments for sure so so are you saying founders are more important than the idea itself uh idea is important but founders are more important mainly because if you are a really smart founder you can tomorrow based on how the market is actually working, you can pivot, right? You know how to react to market conditions, you know how to react and change according to what uh, is needed for the business rather than saying, this is my idea and I just need to go according to the same thing and not morph, right? So idea will actually keep changing. You would have seen enough pivots in startups life. So it all depends on the founder actually because they are the most important part of your startup. Absolutely, I, I cannot agree with you more.